hi friends welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss about the pie chart integration into your application okay so inside the google just write google pie chart integration okay so here you can see there is a google developers link so here you can see the pie chart sometimes you need this kind of chart in your application so basically it represents some statistic suppose here you can see there is work 11 that is 45 percent and 8 8.3 percent so in this way suppose in your application you need some kind of things that is i have already created one database that is the employee database and the department okay so here inside the employee we can see there is some department number this is basically foreign key and the department table have this okay suppose i want to see a report using the pie chart so that we can see how many persons are working in which department so i want a graphical representation or i want to see the percentage of employee who are working on which department okay so let's simple so you can integrate this pie chart in anywhere you can use in php you can use in dotnet you can use in java or anything so here actually i am using the laravel framework and inside the laravel framework we will integrate these things but the code is same and the code we don't need to write google provided the code for pie chart integration so if you just go to here you can see there is a code you can see these things inside your application so how to integrate these things suppose if you are going to integrate in laravel so i will create a simple controller and from the controller we'll create a function and we'll load the view and inside the view we'll just write this so just create a controller so to create a controller php artisan make controller and suppose my controller name is chart controller so in this controller maybe i will create some another type of chart so there you have a pie chart there is many of chart that is got chart donut charts grand chart geo chart so anything we can integrate in this way i am displaying these things because we need these things very much in your application so our controller is created so this is my code and if you just go to the controller inside the app http controllers okay inside the controller we will get the chart controller so here i will create a functions so suppose right here public function and my function name is pie chart okay so write it in this way pie chart and inside there i will load a view so write written view and suppose i have to create a view the view name is pi okay so just create this view so just go to the resource inside the resource there is views and we'll create a view that is pi dot blade dot php okay so just simply copy this code from here to our view page okay so now if we just call these functions we can see the chart okay so just copy the namespace and go to the routes folder so here is my routes and we'll use the web routes here right use app http controllers and the name of the controller that is the chart controller okay and here we will call so in this way suppose i need to create a route here route and we will use the get method and we will create a link that is pylink okay and just register this chart controller colon colon the class and then the methods name so my methods name is pie chart okay so now if you just go to this link we can see the output so before that we need to run the server php artisan serve okay so here is the link so just go to this link 127.0.0.18000 and after that pi 
so you can see this pie chart in your application you can integrate anywhere so as we are using the laravel you don't think that we cannot integrate in others the process is same if you just create a simply index.php and paste this code you can get this now these are the statics so here statically we have written these things so now i want to make it dynamic from my database so here we have the employee data and here this is the department data so what will be the query to find the result so first we need to create a raw sql so just write a raw sql so here just write select count the enum the enum is coming from employee table so i will count the employee with the department okay basically in technical term by grouping the department okay so it will be more clear if you are a developer you can understand what is the grouping so if you don't know this we can clear the grouping concept also so right here emp name okay so i am taking this is as lis and i will fetch the department name also okay so first we will write from emp table okay so select count e name from emp table and we'll join the department table so here we can found the department name so there's a reason we need to join so right left join okay and what will be the table name that is the dpt dpt this table name and we'll join on which so on dpt dot department number that is the primary column of department table and emp dot department number okay so this is basically the foreign key from the emp table and this is the primary key of department table so we are joining on this okay and i want to see the department name also so just add the comma and write department dot d name so we will get two columns that is total count of employee and the department name okay and how to find that so we need to group by these things with the department so right here group by emp dot dpt number okay so if you just go this and you can see there is four department accounting research sales and operations so in the account section there are three employee working in the research section there are five employee working sales four and operations two so we need to just write this query from our laravel to fetch the record so how to write this so i will show you so first we need to use the database operation so first import this use db okay and here write suppose the result okay so i'll write result equal to db colon select and we will write simple raw query so we need to write db raw okay and inside the raw query we'll just use this query okay and then we need to use this record in here okay so we need to make dynamic so first i will change the title so my title can be that is the employee department chart okay and here we can see the employee count and here we can write sorry here this is the department name okay so right here department name and here the next column is the employee count okay so write full name okay and we need to dynamic these things so here we need these records okay so how to get this so here we are getting this result so if you just print this result what we are getting so print in this way write dd and if we just go to this section we can see so here just go to here and here we can see the result that is three accounting five research four sales and two operations 
so this is the result I am expecting but we need to add these things into this here okay so just use a variable and using this variable will concatenate all the strings okay so right here the data equal to blank first for initial level so using the for loop we will create our strings so right here for each dollar result as dollar val and here we will write dollar data dot equal to i am concatenating so what will be the pattern so the pattern will be so just take one things so right here and paste it here and we need to make this string as dynamic so we are getting the result inside the val so right here in this way that is dot val and we are getting all things inside the objects so in this way val dot emp name okay so emp name and same way we will change the department also so right here dollar val arrow and the d name okay so now we are getting this record so just print this so we can understand so if we just refresh this we are getting this accounting 3 research 5 that is the perfect we need this so just initialize another variable and assign all the data into this so write a variable that is chart data equal to the dollar data so all the data is going to the chart data and we will pass using the compact okay so right here compact and we will pass this chart data so that if we use this chart data variable inside the pyblade.php we can get access of these things so just to remove these all things and write simply php tag and echo these things okay so here is my variable we need to use the dollar so now if we just go to the browser we can see research sales and operations so we are getting so for operation there is two so you can see operation two and if we just go to the research is five so you are getting the research is five and along with this we are getting the percentages also okay so this is very simple integration and we can modify google provided the modifications things also so if you want your chart will be this type means 3d type so you can use this simply is 3d equal to true so just go to here and write is 3d equal to true and refresh this you will get this thing so in this way if you want this type of donut chart so you can use this that is the pi hole so write pi hole 0 0.4 and you can change this 0 0.4 to another so just replace this so it is 0 0.4 so i want to change the hole became smaller so right here 0 0.3 so if you repress became some smaller so in this way we can modify there is lots of option there is lots of things we need but this is very simple and you can integrate anywhere in your application and there is no bar of this framework no bar of these things okay so in a simple php file you can also do this okay so thanks for watching this video and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section the so next day we'll come in with some new topic maybe there will have some another integration of charting or maybe some new topics so if you not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video and keep supporting me bye